What is earthquake? Earthquake is the shaking of the surface of the earth, resulting from the sudden release of energy in the earth's lithosphere that creates seismic waves. At the earth's surface, earthquakes manifest themselves by shaking and disrupting the ground. Earthquakes are usually caused when rock on the ground suddenly breaks along a fault. The sudden release of energy causes the seismic waves that make the ground shake. When two plates are rubbing against each other, they stick a little. The rocks are still pushing against each other, but not moving. After a while, the rocks break because of all the pressure that's built up. When the rocks break, the earthquake occurs. During the earthquake and afterward, the plates or block of rocks start moving and they continue to move until they stuck again. The spot on the ground where the rock breaks is called the focus of earthquake. The place right above the focus is called the epicenter of the earthquake. Did you know the biggest earthquake happened in Valdivia, Chile on 22 May 1960 with magnitude 9.5? This earthquake killed 1,655 people, injured 3,000 and displaced 2 million. It caused US dollar 550 million damage in Chile while the tsunami that is spawned caused death and damage as far away as Hawaii, Japan and the Philippines. The rupture zone of the quake was more than 1,000 km long. Two days after the initial quake, the nearby volcano Puyehui erupted sending ash and steam up to 6 km into the atmosphere over a period of several weeks. There are four different types of earthquakes. The first one is a tectonic earthquake. is one that occurs when the Earth's crust breaks due to the geological forces on the rocks and adjoining plates that cause physical and chemical changes. The second one is a volcanic earthquake. It's any earthquake that results from tectonic forces which occur in conjunction with volcanic activity. The third one is a collapsed earthquake or small earthquakes in underground caverns and mines that are caused by seismic waves produced from the explosion of rock on the surface. And the last one is an explosion earthquake. Is an earthquake that is the result of the detonation of a nuclear or chemical Effects of a quake Firstly, loss of life, damage to transport system, damage to infrastructure, landslides, and lastly, ground rupture. How human activity triggered a quake Firstly, hydraulic fracturing, a process used to extract natural gas or other fossils from within the earth. Workers drink into the crust and inject chemicals in order to disturb and fracture the ground. Second, dam and reservoir. Store water for future use and generate electricity. Dam hold large quantities of water. Thirdly, groundwater extraction. Then, geothermal power plants. Powering a generator from hot, pressurized water extracted from deep within the crust. And lastly, construction. There are a few ways to prevent the earthquake damage. One is improve your home earthquake resilience. Evaluate your home's earthquake resilience and improve it through steps such as fastening down furniture and putting anti shatter coating on glass window. Second, prepare in disaster training. <laughs> Get to know the people in your community better by getting actively involved in community disaster training. Third, get well prepared. Make sure you have prepared some food for for emergency use. Otherwise, you don't have food during the emergency. As a conclusion, Earthquakes are not new to the world. It is a very common thing on many parts of the earth. 
the destructiveness of an earthquake depends on the size, the depth, shallow ones are more destructive, and the location. Earthquake size can be stated in terms of the damage caused, the intensity or the amount of ground motion, and the energy released by the earthquake. Earthquake cannot be prevented as it is a natural disaster, so they always catch up by surprise.